Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630, and today I'm gonna talk to you about the benefit of upgrading your standard around-the-block women's to our electric around-the-block women's. Stay tuned. All right, so today I'm gonna to talk to you about the benefits of upgrading your women's around the block to our electric women's around the block. But before I do, hit that subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630, and be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, new products, and of course, the weekly, monthly contests we're doing for giveaways of accessories, bikes, and e-bikes. All right, so behind me, I have our standard women's around the block and our electric women's around the block. This is the 500 watt. The color schemes are some of our newer colors, but these are the same bikes, just different colors. So let me talk to you about the benefit of upgrading to the electric bike version. Now, I love our standard bikes and I think they're great. And everything of course has a, a place and a reason and a best case for use. Um, and if you're curious about that, you can take our body fit quiz actually, and that will recommend the perfect style and type of bike for you. But I believe there's a huge benefit to upgrading to an electric bike version. Let me run you through why. So number one, there's nothing the electric bike can't do that the standard bike can do. What I mean by that, the electric around the blocks comes, the electric around the block comes with three capabilities. One, ride it like a standard bike. Two, ride it with the electrical pedal assist to assist you while you pedal or three, use the full throttle and let the bike do all the work completely. Now, on the standard version, obviously you're only riding this as a standard bike. There's no electrical component to it. However, if you don't want electrical, that's fine. What you do do is you reduce the weight of the bike a little bit um, by not having the motor and the battery. But I wanna speak to that as well. I just weighed everything off camera and the standard version weighs 34 pounds. Um, now this is without the seven speed or handbrake version. That would be 37 pounds if we were to add that in. This bike weighs 59 and a half pounds. So the differential in the weight would be, drum roll, 37, 59, 22 and a half pounds difference. Now, seems like maybe that's a lot, but I will say this, when you ride this bike on flat ground, you're not gonna notice the weight differential that much be between the standard bike. Now, over time, it may tire your legs out a little bit more, and of course, riding up hills, it's gonna be harder to tow a heavier bike. However, you will have the electric assist that you can use to get up the hills if you so choose. But if you're really wanting to use this as a regular bike, there's an easy solution. You can also take the battery out. Now, this weighs eight and a half pounds. So by removing this, you've now reduced the weight of this bike from 59 and a half pounds down to 51 pounds. Having a minor, gotta get this in here. Okay. So now we're at 51 pounds. So now we're at a 14 pound differential between the two of these. Couple reasons why. One, it's got a little bit beefier rear rack to hold the battery. Two, it has disc brakes, which are gonna weigh a little bit more um, than the standard uh, brakes. And also we have the motor in the rear of the hub, which is approximately 10 pounds. So because of where the weight is located and you're riding this as a regular bike, again, like I said, you're not gonna notice the difference. So if you're gonna do, you know, riding around town and you have the electrical assist, it's a huge benefit. Ride it like a bike if you want, use the motor as you want, take the battery out, reduce the weight, put it back in, use an electrical. The possibilities are endless and it just gives you so much more opportunity. Now, the other benefit, go farther and go farther faster. So let's say that you're on your standard around the block and you're, you, know, you usually ride 10 miles and you don't wanna go any farther than that because you're scared of how exhausted you may be um, and so you don't wanna, in fear of being too tired to get home, you just always stop at 10 miles. The benefit of the electric bike version is you can ride as far as you want without the electricity, and then if you become tired, use the electricity to get home. 
That's something I like to do. I'll take my bike out for a 10 mile ride. I won't use the electricity at all. And then when I'm coming home, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna kick in a little bit of electricity. Or push yourself farther than you've ever been. Ride 15 miles with no electricity and then use the electricity to get home. It gives you that peace of mind that you won't feel stranded or you don't have to be worried about how far have I ridden and can I get home. So the e-bike version can actually allow yourself to push your body even more. It's essentially like you have a driver to take you home in theory, right? You can push yourself that much more knowing this bike can get you home if you want it to. If not, by all means, keep riding it like a normal bike or use full electricity and push yourself even farther. Go 30, 40 miles, let the pedal assist help you go the whole way. It's really up to you. The other benefit is the kind of uh, topography you can, you can take on. So if there are certain routes you've stayed away from or places that you, you've wanted to go but you haven't because of the, hit, the incline of the hills um, or certain terrains that maybe you're not comfortable riding on because you don't have enough leg power, boom, add in the electricity and now those hills that you thought you couldn't tackle, you can tackle. So it's gonna open up the possibility of where you can take your bike, where you can ride your bike, um, go new places, places that maybe you couldn't go on your standard bike. By all means, if you can tackle the routes that you want on your standard bike, then that's good for you, but you may be able to consider new possibilities. In addition to that, this bike now becomes a full-on transportation, mode of transportation. Not to say that a bike isn't, but the, but the ability to get places farther and faster. So let's say you didn't want to ride to school or you don't want to ride to the store because it's two miles and two miles on a bike takes you 10 minutes. Now on an e-bike, it might take you five minutes. So knowing how much shorter that ride can take using the electrical assist, might convince you to sway in that direction of using the bike instead of using a car. Um, so if you already use your bike to commute, again, that's great. But if you don't and you don't want to because you think you'll get there too slow, an e-bike becomes something where it's, it's like a real mode of transportation and you can get places quick. In fact, on an e-bike, you may be able to get to locations, stores, school, other places faster because of the routes you can take on an e-bike versus an actual car. Now, that ties into hand in hand is going faster. So you'll just be able to generally cover more ground quicker. Um, you know, whether or not you want to do that is totally up to you. In addition to that, you're going to be able to carry more weight. So with this e-bike and the power of the motor, you could put pannier bags back here. You could put a basket on the front. And so picking up groceries at the store becomes more practical. You know, on a standard bike, let's say that you don't want to lug back 50 pounds or 30 pounds or whatever it may be, or even a child trailer. As an example, I hook my children up to my electric bike in the trailer, and it's great because I can ride to the park up some minor hills that maybe I wouldn't feel comfortable on the standard bike version. So the ability to um, tow weight, bring weight with you, carry groceries, do things like that is another huge benefit of the electric bike version versus the standard bike version. Outside of that, the, you can see too, the frames are very identical. If you love your standard bike, you're gonna love the electric bike. The sitting position, the ergonomics, all of it's the same. The electric version feels identical to the around the block, except now you've added the motor um, and you've added the power and the speed that you get from it. The last thing I'll say too is you get the count, the disc brakes, which are essential when you have an e-bike. You're going to have great stopping power, um, makes stopping very easy. The caliper brakes are great for the standard bike, but on the electric bike, the caliper brakes are a must. So I think that summarizes the benefits of an e-bike. It's really go farther, go faster, do more, and push your body more are the top four things I would say. If you have any thoughts or questions about why you should upgrade or you're considering upgrading your around the block, comment below, we're happy to answer or email us the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And don't forget, I mentioned it before, take our body fit quiz on the website. Our proprietary fitting tool will ask you a few questions about your body and your life and it'll recommend the perfect bike for you and your circumstances. And don't forget, 
We have a 90 day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love it within 90 days, you can send it back, no questions asked, no money out of your pocket. So if you have the standard electric bike and you've been on the fence about upgrading, just remember 90 days, you can test it out and you don't love it, we'll take it back, no expense out of your pocket. And if you aren't already, join our Facebook Pedalers group, be a part of the community, talk to other electric bike riders that already have the around the block women's electric version, ask them questions, see how they like it and get a feel for it. And of course, post your photos once you have one in that Pedalers group. And lastly, download the 630 app and be a part of the community there. Track your rides, compete on the leaderboard, see how others are riding their bikes. You can see how many miles people lo are logging on electric bikes. In addition, we have a company-wide goal and our people pedaling mission goal to ride 150,000 miles. We're tracking it on the app. So any mile logged on there counts towards our goals. And if we hit our milestones, we're donating bikes to get more people pedaling. So we'd love to have you be a part of it. Come and join us. Alrighty, thanks for sticking around. And don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.